Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a thrift with me. We're going thrift slash antique shopping to see what we can find. I have really learned that the more that you refine your style, you get to know your style, you evolve within your interior design, your thrifting and your antique shopping really does change and you're looking for new and different items. So before I was thinking, okay, a lot of the times like you, you, you just want to find these unique pieces, which you always do. But as you evolve your style, I feel like we get even pickier with even you know antiques and thrifting so it's super exciting to go often and continue to look for things and continue to build that collected home over time i i love it you guys know so we're gonna go in here we're gonna see what we can find as always i'm always looking for artwork um lamps tapestries lately i've been kind of looking for and uh, uh what else i mentioned years ago in a in a video that I like really struggled with artwork. I really, really struggled. In fact, I preferred tapestries and I did a whole video on this. Like, I think I called it like how to find your style or something like that. I'll have to go back and maybe link the video down below. But I talk about tapestries. I have yet to have found a tapestry that's affordable. They are expensive. So I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna see what I can find and take you with me. Let's go. All right, I found this little ceramic crock. It's really pretty. I like the holes on top. You could put like garlics in here. I don't know what it was originally used for, but $6.75. Hmm, kind of like that. Look at this little brass wood holder. How much is this? Let's see, $30. The little feet. This would make a wonderful bar. It's a dresser with a marble top, $50, but it would be beautiful as like a little mini bar in like a living room. Oh, it's so pretty. I really, really love that. $50 for a whole dresser. So good. Oh, look at all these baskets. I really love that one right there. Oh, that looks really good. I have no idea how much they are though, and I cannot reach them. But I might need to ask about that one. That one's so pretty. I love this booth. I feel like they always have really great things. Like look at these little stainless mugs with the flatware handle. Those are really cute. A set of three for 15. Oh, look at those trays. There's two of them. Oh wow, those are beautiful. I also really like these salt and pepper shakers. Wait, set a two for eight? That's really not bad. Those are really pretty. Oh, these ones are pretty too. These ones are a little more fancy. $15 for two. Oh no, these are 15 a piece. I love embroidered napkins. Oh, they're just absolutely beautiful. Two dollars. Hmm. Wait, is this a tapestry? Hold on, it's probably a placemat, but let's hope that this is a tapestry. Could be a small tapestry. Twenty-five dollars. What do we think? This one's cute. It's like gardeners. Oh no, what do I do? It's 
not like my dream tapestry, but it is really pretty. These are so hard to find. $25, but it's not that big. I don't know. I need to think about it. That wood crate is $9. $9. I don't think I've seen one that inexpensive ever. Okay. Oh my gosh, I don't need it. I don't need it for $9. These are just, I love these so much. You can use them for anything and everything. Look at this ice bucket. That's beautiful, it's $50. But it has such a different shape to it. It would also be so pretty as a planter. Oh my gosh. Oh, they said brass planter slash ice bucket. <laughs> oh, I love that. These are cool. They're 120 each, but they're Pike's Place and Seattle Ferry ink drawings. I like those, especially being from the Pacific Northwest. It's kind of cool to see. If Zach had an office space, I'd get him this turtle. He loves turtles. What is this made of? Black stone. I'm not sure what kind of stone, but really cute. Isn't that cute? My sister would love these duck brass fireplace things. <laughs> Those are really, really sweet. These look like, I'm pretty sure I bought those. They have coops. 10 set for $15.50. Oh my gosh. And then look at these little sweet guys. I am so into baskets lately. This one with these little green woven pieces in here. It's 22. I feel like I showed you this one before. 22. It's like the perfect hand basket. I love that. I just don't know how sturdy it would be. I really want to get this $29 dollars and 45 cents it's on wheels but i think if i sanded this down it would be such a pretty wood oh i like this so much i really do like that and then i was looking over here and i saw this little basket for two for two dollars and 97 cents this is such a good little gift basket look how cute that is it has some ornaments in there right now but well i can't really grab it how cute, it's tiny. Two dollars. I mean, you're not fitting much in there, but that's adorable. I love it. All right, home from vintage shopping, and I have Zach in frame to show him one of the pieces because I actually didn't even show you guys. It was the very first thing I saw, 
and one of the like sales associates or whatever was like, do you want me to take that up front? Cause I was just looking at it and I was like, yeah. <laughs> so where's this one from merchant? Or this one's called it new. Okay. So it, this was $25. Ignore the frame. The frame is going to go away. Are you going to paint it or just... I think I'm going to see if I have a frame that fits. I was hoping, but now I'm looking over there and I don't know if I do. Anyway, we'll figure it out. But... Oh, yeah. Do you the see the, the perspective is like literally the street we stayed on? Yeah. We were like a mile back, but like it was right down that street. I know. That's I was, awesome. I know. And I normally... Okay, I've learned that I don't know that I'm so much of a watercolor kind of person it's usually kind of very um bright in colors but this one actually is really nice yeah i like it isn't that cute it just it's more than anything a, a memory i know i had to get it, it. brings you back yes i was like memory. literally we stayed right here the trees everything about this picture i literally feel i like feel it. like i would yeah i know like, oh, it's, yeah isn't it beautiful good, good fire thank you don't you kind of wish we would have done the top yeah i know maybe next time so good. Anyway, here's a better look at it. It's a watercolor of the Arc in Paris. And we stayed literally from this perspective. Our street was ugh, the glare. It was right it. Um, kind of where we stayed. So I thought. And the place we stayed at, I found it last minute. I know. And it was really nice. It was really nice. It was nice. like an apartment. What it was? It was, it was like a hotel. Loft type. Loft. But it. It was, I would stay there again. Actually, I would stay but there yes. again. Isn't that so, I was like, I have to get that. And that it wasn't so like bright and colorful. I like it. So pretty. Good fan. Thanks, babe. I thought you might like that. <laughs> I'm excited. So I was actually thinking about maybe putting this one in the bathroom because there were a few of you that said, take that oil painting out of that bathroom. The steam's going to ruin it. And wow. I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, you're right. It needs a new frame. I know. I don't like the frame, but the mat I might be able to reuse. I just yeah. need a new, I need to figure out what size this frame is. But this is one of those pieces when you're vintage shopping that I would have preferred to buy this when we were there, but sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. But when you can find a piece that takes you back to, like, I literally feel like I'm stand, like I can see us here. Like we walked this street every day we were there yeah and it's just really cool and what's the street people from france might know the champs de Lise or whatever <laughs> is it champs de Lise or whatever is right the there seven it, where it's the circle or no i think the main like oh, street with all the with stores all the and shops a fame in the famous street yeah let us know how you yeah. well i know it's champs de Lise or something i don't know how to say it's uh pronounce it though yeah but we did lots of shopping on that street they had a Sephora, but then on this street, it was cool. They had a Zara home that we never went into. We should have. Oh, yeah. And then literally on the corner where we stayed and then they had a diptyque. They had like all kinds of nice oh, stuff. You loved. I, I love know. the markets. I, yeah, you do. All right. Anyway, isn't that pretty? Love it. I'm so excited. And then the other thing that I got for $5, I was like, I have to get it. I was kind of like, it's, it's hard to build a collection in a small space because even though I made my little decor closet that I filmed that was in the, I think it's a home vlog, I think. Um, I'm already starting to fill that, that up and we have a storage unit and I'm like, hey, don't be crazy. I'm trying to not get so many things, but this was $5 <laughs> and it's this harvest basket you know how much i have been loving baskets lately i've been sharing them with you so much because i i don't know i just i'm loving baskets they come i think you know what really did it for me was our basket that we have in the trunk of our car realizing how and like my little um french market basket how much we use them i was like okay having baskets are really nice to have so i found a few i found that like more round laundry style basket but for five dollars i thought this was just such a good deal so i thought we have a little garden i can go get my clippings in here or when i go to the flower market they don't have like wrapping so i could put my clippings in here um i even thought you could i could use this in a living room space with magazines whatever you can use this for so many so many different things but <laughs> I was like, I, the girl was like, oh, what are you going to use it for? I was like, well, probably clippings. 
And then I was like, I just, I had to have it. I had to buy it before they noticed they might need to mark the price up. And she laughed at that, but. I like it. It's really cute, Especially right? with the house, like you could go outside and pick some flowers. some Or vegetables. Spring. Some vegetables bring in. Yeah, even like, it's probably not the best like citrus harvest basket, no. but. It'll just roll off. Yeah. Or get heavy. But I have other ones for that. You need yeah. different baskets for different things. Anyway, that's all I got. I did, I think I need to take a break from the two antique shops that I went to because they're a little bit closer to me, so I go to them all the time. But there was a lot of things that I've already seen, so I'm like, hey, I might need to take a break, go to some other ones, which I plan to do. Anyway, long story short, I didn't have a much time, so I went to the close ones, <laughs> and I got a couple good things. And I'm glad I did because this painting is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I have a frame to put this in. If I do, I'll update you. If I don't, we'll be shopping for one. Okay, so digging through my decor closet, I do have a frame I think is gonna work, so I thought I would update you real quick. It's a little bit smaller than the frame that it's in, so I'm gonna have to go get a new clip art holder. I think I've showed you guys these before, or like the clip art glass and backing. I'm gonna order that from Amazon, and then I think I can just cut down the mats. This is the frame I think I'm gonna use. This frame is pretty beaten up. It's really dusty too, so ignore that. But it's beaten up. I kind of like the beat up. Like I feel like I don't need, I could go over it again with a high shine black. I kind of like the high shine. And then what I will probably do is maybe not even do the, the glass front. Maybe just do, well, it kind of does help keep it protected. I need to figure out where I can buy. Do you know where you can buy? I've heard people say it. What is it called? Art glass, where it's a little bit more matte. I'm assuming maybe at like an art supply store. I don't know. Let me know what you, I can look on Amazon too, but let me know if you know somewhere. Anyway, I think this frame looks really beautiful with it. How pretty is that? And seeing it in this frame too, it totally makes so much more sense in our space. I don't know, I love it. Oh, I love it, I love it. This is the first watercolor painting that I'm like, that's it, I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if I shared anything that you loved and maybe let me know, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, your favorite antique find or home decor find something that you just really are excited about and love in your home. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.